Hearts of Germany, Van der Elst of Belgium, Watson, United States, Miller, United States, Tachinski, Canada, Sige of Kenya, Erpato of Bahrain, Tema of Ethan to Watson and Aliyah Miller. And they will really fancy their chances of taking the title, which was won by Archie Wilson in Barcelona four years ago. Wilson, who will go to the Olympic Games in Rio next month, with a chance of a medal, perhaps even the title. Elise van der Elst, 205.05. She's the slowest of the eight qualifiers. Here is Samantha Watson. And Aliyah Miller, the fastest qualifier. She's capable of going inside 203. Tachinski of Canada. Gave a hint of uh, real promise in that semi-final, the Canadian. Sergei of Kenya. There will be another battle within a battle, the East African nations strapping it out here again with a Kenyan and an Ethiopian. A departo of Bahrain. There is a threat to the Americans. Perhaps it's going to come from the athlete wearing the best of Bahrain. The athletes set to be called to their marks for the final of the women's 800 meters. The official just checking there on the foot of Elise van der Elst. But they do go. And Watson, one of the two tall Americans there, perhaps the slowest away, along with uh, Sige of Kenya. And it is Herpato coming across the track from the outside. Herpato has run 204.58, but significantly she won the Asian senior indoor title running 204.59, so on the basis of that, you would have thought there's real scope for improvement here from the athlete at the front of this field, Herpato. We've yet to see the best of her on a full 400-meter oval, but at the moment, Tim, this pace with the athletes running three, maybe even four wide, is very modest indeed. It is on the slow side, isn't it? Herpato, they're being allowed to control it there at the front, and. Uh... Even though she's leaving daylight on the inside, Miller is reluctant to take the lead. Tachinski on the outside, I think, might do well to get herself a better position here after a slow first lap like this, because the second lap, 63.5 at 400 meters, is going to be very, very quick at some point, Martin. And when you're reducing it to a 300 meter sprint or a 200 meter sprint, you've got to be well positioned. A meter over that sort of distance is more like four meters over the full distance. Well, a little bit of naivety there from Herpato has allowed Miller, who's perhaps the greatest threat to her, just to come through on the inside. And now Katema, who ran strongly in both the heat and the semi-final, hits the front. And here goes the Kenyan. Sige hits the front, makes the first senior bro serious break. And Watson, the other American who's been watching her from the back. Look at Chichinsky working very hard down the outside. And here comes Miller again. And now Sige... Starts to run out of legs there on the inside, and now it's Watson making the best of her way home. And look at Miller, who's run a very strange race indeed, coming wide and coming fast. But it is going to be Watson, who's run the best race of all, who in the end is going to win this in fine style. America one, America two. It is Katema of Ethiopia who comes through for third. And in the end, the challenge from Herpato, the athlete from Bahrain, well, it didn't really materialize. And there are one or two women there who will look at the way they ran this race and think, I could have done it so much better. Because in the end, Samantha Watson played the waiting and the watching in game. And when she struck, it was decisive. And she struck at just the right time to a real contrast. I'm, I'm reluctant to criticize athletes who get medals, especially youngsters, but Miller, she was in lane three with 130 meters to go. She was all over the place. There she is on the inside, refused to take the lead when she had the chance for that uh, third 200 meter segment. Has to come so wide, look at her there, out in lane three with about 130 to go, and that is just 
too, too many metres, and she finishes, what, three metres shy of her teammate Watson, who, to be fair, is striding well clear of the rest of them here. Leaves Sigai and Ketama way, way in her wake. But I think Miller could have been a lot closer to a teammate, Martin, if she'd run a smarter race. That was uh, from very, very naive running, I'm afraid, even though she was smiling afterwards with that medal. Great run for the Americans, first and second, but Miller all over the place. When you choose to go to the front, as she did with 400 metres to go, holding the curve, you have to respond when athletes come past you on the outside. You have no choice. Watson took a different route. She was at the back watching the others. She knew she had to come wide, but when she came wide, she made it happen very quickly. And the very fact that Miller found herself, what, with 220 metres to go on the curb in front, then in about third or fourth place, having to come wide in lane three round the bend, goes to show that really she lost any chance of winning when that kick came from the likes of Watson. 2.04.52. The time, nothing really to talk of, but the manner of Samantha Watson's victory, tactically flawless. Aliyah Miller in second.